I was in the restaurant business about 30 years ago. And I remember a manager in a restaurant here in Ottawa sitting in his office and we're looking for a sous chef. I was the chef of the restaurant and we needed a sous chef. A sous chef is basically the second in command of the kitchen. We had a staff of about 10 or 12 people plus dishwashers. So it was an okay, okay size kitchen, you know, for a little restaurant. It was okay. We had, we had lots of workers. I thought it was okay anyways. But we're looking for a sous chef and this guy that I mentioned to the manager of the restaurant, he was a great worker. He was smart. He was a great cook. He got along with everybody. There was nothing wrong with the guy as far as I was concerned. But I asked my boss, I said, do you think he could be the sous chef? Do you think I could promote him up to being a sous chef? And you know what my boss said? My boss said this, I'm not sure. And I'm like, what do you mean you're not sure? And he says, he told me he was an alcoholic and he's in recovery. That's what he said. And I was in recovery at the time, but I never told anybody. And he told everybody in the restaurant because when he first came into recovery, like many of us, he was very enthusiastic. He found a new life. He had a lot of joy going on. He was happy, he was getting a lot of kudos. So he thought he would tell the world that he's in recovery and he's got a rehab. And he told my boss too at the time. And my boss didn't want me to hire him as a sous chef. And you know, I didn't. I didn't hire him as a sous chef. We ended up getting another guy from the outside sort of to come in. I'll be honest with you. Because my boss wasn't 100% with him. And I know if he was late, if he got, you know, an argument or whatever, it would he would be judged as an alcoholic. Because back in his mind, my boss's mind, he would always think of him being an alcoholic. And most people still think alcoholics as weak-willed. There's a lot of stigma around addiction and alcoholism. I know our world talks a lot about it. It's very trendy now to be an addiction and people are in recovery of fentanyl, you name it. Drug addiction, alcoholism, people pat everybody on the back. But for myself, I don't tell too many people. People still don't have a trusting, realistic view of recovering alcoholics. They really don't. They really don't. I only tell people that I can trust. A few good friends, my, my family for sure, but I don't go around telling people I'm in recovery. The only time I do is when it can help somebody. If I'm at work and I know somebody has an alcohol problem, which I've done a couple of times, I will talk to them about AA or smart recovery or going to the Royal Ottawa Hospital for rehab, I will talk to them about that. But I only mention it, that I'm an alcoholic, when it can serve good for somebody. Not to make me look like uh, I'm doing better in life or something. Or, or sometimes I, you know, you get kudos for, oh, what a go, Terry, you're in recovery. No, nothing like that. Nothing like that, okay? Anonymity is really important. When I came into sobriety, when I drank, I thought I was different. Sobering up and not telling everybody in the world that I'm a recovering alcoholic, it just makes me feel like a regular Joe Blow. I don't have to be anything else but myself. I will not tell people who I do not know on a more intimate level that I am in recovery and I have, you know, I got 30 years of sobriety. I don't tell anybody. Mine, it's none of their business anyways. So just remember that. I know we want to yell it to the world, but just remember, keep it to yourself. Let your behavior, let your way of life be your voice in your recovery. No one has to know. That's just between me and you, okay? Anonymity is a spiritual foundation of all our traditions. Okay, it really, really is. Okay, my name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel. We're willing to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, please subscribe. If you can take another second, hit that like button. Okay, but just remember, just remember, sobriety is freedom. It really is. Okay, God bless. See you next week.